हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल डिस्कस द अलाइनमेंट ऑफ शॉप टॉप रोटेटिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी ऑलरेडी स्टडीड द वेरियस मेंटेनेंस टूल्स व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर रोटेटिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन्स सम ऑफ दिस टूल्स विल बी यूजिंग इन द प्रोसीजर ऑफ अलाइनमेंट ऑफ शॉप टॉप इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन्स फॉर दैट we require to have the two electrical machines which are already being placed on the foundation the foundation and the bed plate are being connected to the power bolt that we already know during the discussion of foundation of rotating electrical machines now these two machines are already placed on foundations the machines here are directly coupled that is they are having the coupling arrangement for mechanical power transmissions now whether these shafts are properly aligned or not that we have to check now now it is to be done by the instrument like the dial indicator now this type of the instrument will have two parts one is on left side that is shown and connected to the shaft it will have a vertical end very pointed like a needle another is placed on the driven machines when these two pointer that is just like the needles are faced to each other indicating that the both shaft are properly aligned now this is the position we have shown for the current leveling now we have to rotate it through the angle of 30 degree and check whether again these two points are facing each other or not if they are facing each other then again the shafts are properly aligned then go for the next angle that is 60 degree again check it then 90 degree repeat this until for 360 degree that is complete circle is being formed of the rotation if we found that always these two points are facing each other indicates that the shafts are properly aligned if we found that these are not touching each other facing each other then we have to correct the alignment of the shaft it may be that the one of the shaft may be bended or there may be the leveling difference between the driven or the driving machines and that we have to fill up by the putting the packaging between the bed plate and the foundations okay now next we have to check whether these two coupling flanges are properly aligned or not and for that purpose we require to have the steel ruler and the filler gauges the first diagram represent the, how the axis of the two flanges alignment is checked for that purpose put the steel ruler on one of the flange that is on motor shaft side and check the another driven machine shaft alignment that is the coupling flange alignment by rotating it if it is having a gap like as shown in figure indicating that the axis are not aligned then we have to make the arrangement to make them properly align another thing for this direct couple drive is to check whether the flanges are parallel or not it may happen that externally we see that the flanges are properly uh, parallel to each other but insidely there may not it be seen so how to check it so for that we have to use the filler gauge filler gauge are made from the steel roller like that having 0.5 mm to 2 mm thickness put that filler gauge inside the gap between these two flanges if is throughout ligate easily indicating that the flanges are parallel if we see that one of the end we have to make the more force to drive it downwards it makes that it means that the flanges are not parallel as shown in the figure in that case we have to make the flange flange of the driven machine coupled direct coupling properly at so that the flanges will now be again in parallel so okay i think you have understood the procedure of alignment of the direct coupled rotating machines thank you